Hey, this is Kurt McKeever for Husker Extra, and it's baseball season. Ground rule number one, no reporting from the field of play. Come on, Anthony. This is Ground Rules with Husker Extra's Kurt McKeever and your online producer, Anthony Roberts. Join us each week for some unique stories and updates on Nebraska baseball. Only on HuskerExtra.com. You guys are getting ready for your opening road game down in Lafayette, Louisiana, right? We are. Now, here in Nebraska, it's not going to be like it is in Louisiana. Obviously, the weather in Nebraska presents a little bit of challenges for you guys. Can you talk a little bit about how that's going to affect you and your play? Well, now, Tony, you got the wrong guy because uh, it doesn't present challenges for us. This is just who we are, and this is what it is for us. So um, going down to Louisiana presents a challenge for us because it might be a little bit warmer, a little more humid for us. Uh, these Midwest kids, these Nebraska kids may not be used to it. So um, this climate is great for us. We like it. Um, get down there it might be a little bit different. Um, but, uh, you know, we've got the great indoor facilities and everything else that, that provide for us to, to do the things to get ready for the baseball season. I'm here with uh, senior Jeff Tezak. Uh, he's had an interesting year of uh, rehabbing. And uh, I'm sure, Jeff, you are very excited to uh, return to practice indoors uh, for the uh, uh, start of the spring semester. Can you just talk about uh, some of the things you guys have to go through indoors versus outdoors? Is it? I mean, do you really get excited, or is it? Or do you dread? Is it dread? Dread type of thing? Uh, for me, actually, it's a lot of excitement. I don't know about the other players. I think most of us will enjoy it. We enjoy it more because we um, get back to fundamentals indoors. You can really uh, stress um, working through the ball and hitting. You can really stress uh, getting your foot down. You know, other stuff, doing drills a lot more. Where outside, you just are playing more, doing more game type situations. How do you find out who's got the power though in that in that batting cage? How, how do Coach you find Newman it? tells us if we got a hit or not. <laughs> That's about the only way. There you have it. The advantages of being indoors. The weather plays a little bit of a role in what home games you can play. Like the schedule isn't ironed out completely until you know what the weather is going to be like. How do you work around that? Well, <laughs> you got to be a little bit creative. Um, you know, the one thing I would like is that we had the opportunity to schedule a lot more home games. We've got the fan support and the base and everything else that people will come out, but uh, we got to be realistic about scheduling home games. You can't do it the first weekend of the season because you may have eight inches of snow on the ground. So you got to be careful uh, of what you do. But um, uh, we, we also kind of try to press the issue and say, let's try to get there as soon as we can. But if we do, let's just do it with maybe one game here, one game here. Um, so that if we do lose a game due to weather, it's only one game and rather, rather than series. So we've got to be creative in our scheduling. We're going to travel a little bit early. Um, but I'll be honest, let's bring teams to Nebraska. Let's bring them to our climate and in our environment, the, kid, the ones that our kids are used to, and let them play with what we have to play with. And, uh, you know, to, to us, that's a good thing. How do the uh, teams that come to play here in mid-March when it may or may not be pretty nice baseball weather react to that? Is that a, does that give you the advantage at that point? Yes, it should. You know, and that's, um, you, you said it, baseball weather. Um, I've yet to define that. And there's some people in the South that think the, the weather's a, a certain way and that's the way baseball weather should be. Well, baseball weather for Nebraskans is this. You know, we have a little bit of cold temperature at times, it's fine. Um, you know, our kids adapt to it. They're Midwest kids. They understand it. They've been doing it all their life. Um, you know, if you're going to have the opportunity to play in the big leagues sometime, you have to play in New York and Boston and, and some of these places in Chicago uh, that are very similar uh, climates to what we have. So get used to it and hopefully develop and go, go get yourself into the big leagues that way too. Do you guys play in the snow? Uh, not necessarily in the snow. Um, we'll move it. What's, what's the line there? Well, you know, you, you're talking 38, 40 degrees. You've got to be careful. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, you don't, what, what you don't want to do is, and I'm not, I'm not a big advocate of saying that cold weather creates the injuries. Uh, it, I've seen more injuries in warm weather than I have in cold weather. Kids are very uh, resourceful in the cold weathers and, and, and different things. But when you get 38 to 40 degrees, you need to be a little bit careful in what you're doing. And, um, Snow on the ground, no, that's not going to happen. We'll re but we'll remove it. We'll get it off there. We've got shovels and different things we can do. That's just part of being cold weather. All right. Well, good luck, Coach. Very good. Thank you.